Konnichiwa! Welcome to this new installment of uh, In The Game a series where I check out indie games, play them. As I'm playing, I give you reviews, and at the end, I give a recap and a review of what I thought about the game. This game is called No Players Online, and this is the website. Very, very good looking. Long story short, you find a dusty VHS tape. On the side is written, Capture the Flag Project Footage 3rd 2086. You decide to put it into the player. Uh, it says it's a short horror flick. Now, I wanted to talk about something before the game. You can skip this segment. I think in the in the comments below I have timestamps. There we go. Uh, which you can click on and skip this section of the video. Anyways, I wanted to talk about a little bit of the future of this channel. Uh, and what I'm planning to do with it. I have two YouTube channels. And one of them focuses on music. And the other one, which is this one, focuses on variety content. Usually it's gaming tutorials, guides. Those kinds of videos. Sometimes it's comedic, sometimes rants. So I have a couple of series and I wanted to uh, focus... I think my career, I'm going to focus on music more. So that I'm going to focus on the other channel more and it's going to be my primary channel because that's... Again, that's my... I think I want to make music my career. Actually, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to focus on that channel for now more. Uh, still, I will try to release gameplay videos on this channel or in general videos that don't require a lot of editing and a lot of work as previous videos have. So just some looking for something easier to make, but still I want to make as quality content as possible. That's just a short recap of what my plans are. Uh, so music first, then this channel, I'm going to focus on a bunch of things, but as long as I can make, I can find a balance to still make videos between these two channels, that's what I'm working on right now, trying to find the balance and see how this is all going to turn up, uh, turn up, turn off, whatever. So let's, let's see. Anyways, I'm starting with this game. Let's check it out. Uh, so here's the interesting thing about this game. As soon as I click on the icon, the game, st uh, something happens. So let me show you first things first. Here it is. And this is the game. As soon as I double click, run, this happens. Watch this. Boom. There you go. It made a sound. So I click on this. And I like this. This is very unique. So let's click on this. And whoa. Oh, it crashed. I put it into the player. Let's try this again. And it crashed again. Oh, it works in 720p if you run it as administrator. Cool. So it's making the sounds as if, if I'm popping this VHS tape in. All right, here we are once again. Yeah, it doesn't matter what mode it is. It, it looks like it's gonna be four by three or whatever. Look at me doing testing on this game. Let me just lower the music a little bit. Here we are. Capture the flag. Uh, that's it. I had two bullets. Looking for players. I can't move, however. I cannot move, but I can click, however. It still says looking for players. Oh, now it works. Let's try again. MS Boss. It says MS Boss. Oh, now I can move. There we go. Capture the flag. Well, let's first see. Oh, okay. Let's do that. It seems like it's inspired by Doom. Alright, I totally went over the flag. I guess this is my flag. I have just two bullets, but let's see. I like this effect so much. The VHS effect. This is something I, I, I like to style my videos with. There's no jump. Just keep walking. Feels like it's, yeah, it probably expired, uh, inspired by Doom and Half-Life. And the reason I'm talking is because I'm scared of shit and I don't want something popping out at me, okay? Okay? Well, here's the deal. I'm going to try to be as honest as possible and not overreact. <laughs> so if I scream, there you go. Oh, shift can run. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared that there's nobody here. What's going on? It's like the screen is shaking a little bit as I'm walking here. You know what's really weird with this game? Still, I'm talking, I'm scared. Is because there are no options to configure, like, your, short, you know, buttons and whatnot. I'm thinking the gist of the game is going to be, oh, there's nobody on the map. But then somebody's going to show up. And I'm going to be like, 
Whoa, somebody's here. So that's what I'm thinking is gonna be. Uh, last time I played the horror game, uh, indie game called I don't know something something. Where, oh, look for the way, one way out, something like that. W once, once this guy showed up, I I swear to God, I froze. And I was so scared. I'm not joking. I wasn't overreacting at that particular video. I was so scared. I simply froze. Alright. What's the point now? Oh, there's the enemy flag. Alright, some shit's gonna happen now. Watch this. You have the flag. And of course, motherfucking sun goes down. That was a trigger for an event. And now I go back and now it's going to be like... Boo. Oh god. Why am I so scared? There is music? What? What the hell? What is this? Do I shoot this? You know what? I think I have two bullets. I don't want to shoot nothing. Oh man, they had to include this old ass music. <sighs> oh, yeah, see that was like the shadow there. There we go. Through here. Oh, uh huh. You die. Doom upon thee, fool. Oh my god, I could sample this from my other channel. Don't scare me, don't scare me, don't scare me, don't scare me, don't scare me. Don't scare me. Whoa! Score one! Three times to do that! You are kidding me! <sighs> uh, if there's anything scarier than playing old ass music like this. It's now read something over there. Yeah, it's definitely shaking. The screen is definitely shaking. I wasn't imagining that. Oh, I can't run anymore. Everything is red. Oh, it stopped. Okay. Well, scary ass game. Who's gonna show up when I pick this up? Oh, who joined? Where is he? A new chapter, but I can't go through there. It said who joined? Where is he? Oh, 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 right there, he's so scary, it wasn't that scary, but, you know, dark figures, come on, man. See, I had, I have sleep paralysis sometimes, and the thing is, please, just please don't make this game, like, slender. Anyways. Oh, he's right there, oh, the camera turned to him, he's coming towards me? No bullets! Oh, come on! Oh, oh, that was a little bit scary, but not that much. Uh, see, I have sleep paralysis, and uh, according to sleep paralysis uh, gurus, <laughs> once you fall asleep, and uh, what, basically what happens is your body falls asleep per first, and your brain stays awake. And that's uh, how sleep paralysis works, essentially. So the thing is, usually the way you s fall asleep is your head fall your your brain falls asleep first and then your body falls asleep that's why once you wake up you find yourself in different position because your body was still moving it was still active with me sometimes now rarely but it used to be more often i have the sleep paralysis where body falls asleep first and the brain is still awake that means i am still awake uh, which means I can see everything, I can breathe, I can... But I cannot move because my body is, is uh, sleeping, right? So my body is really heavy. Sleeping, you can't move. And that's what happens with... Now, with, with sleep paralysis, once you have... Once you enter that state of sleep paralysis, uh, basically because your brain is still awake, but your body is sleeping, sometimes you can see things which you would see in your dreams. You see them in reality. Like, it's, it's actually r real real life VR, like virtual reality, real life, you see things that you would normally see in the dreams. The reason I'm saying this is because usually they say that you, if you look, if you open your eyes, which you can do, it's not that hard to open your eyes once you enter that state, you can see a black figure just like the one you saw moving towards me earlier. You saw that, you, you, you can see that figure standing above you, uh, next to you, like next to, you, to your bed. 
above you looking at you or something like that. You can see a bunch of other crazy stuff if you have sleep paralysis, if you enter that state. Pretty much anything that you would you can dream of, you you might be able to see, you you could see it potentially there's a chance you could see it in real life. So that's why I'm saying like I'm just trying to tell you like this figure that I just that was in the game is like, "Whoa, sleep paralysis, come on." <laughs> Anyways, where where are we? And now there's some static as we approach the score 3. I can still run. Oh, this is a player means this is where music stopped as well now there's just some sounds if i if i shut up you can <laughs> hear those i'm assuming he's gonna be here nope maybe once i pick it up he's gonna show up you have the flag so it's the third one I'm, I'm assuming that i'm not going to be able to get the third flag down it's gonna something's gonna happen but yeah oh by the way if you if you have sleep paralysis i think i'm experienced on this jeez to talk about it so uh, the way you fight sleep paralysis it's actually pretty simple you cover both of your ears once you go to sleep so sleep on the one side of your body uh, once you lay on let's say right side your right ear is going to be covered by your pillow because you're you're gonna rest your head on the pillow and it's gonna basically close the ear hole uh, now you just need to close the other ear or the ear hole somehow I usually I take a blanket and I wrap myself in the blanket so the blanket covers the other ear and that's pretty much how I stopped sleep paralysis it didn't happen after when I started doing that yeah I'm assuming the guy is gonna show up somewhere soon to stop me obviously right now probably go on just don't scream at me like ah please it's gonna scare the shit out of me oh oh I, I, I'm gonna put my hands on my face oh there he is he's going I still can't shoot okay I thought he's gonna be like ah, it, might, it might be now hold on cover your faces oh shit oh Lurita how did you even get access to this game whatever you do do not move do not deliver that flag can you hear me yes I can hear you if you can read this, press Y to chat and say something. Uh -huh. That face was scary, by the way. That was scary. Why? I pressed Y. Hey. Wait, never mind. I don't think you have chat permission on this server. I don't. Just shoot twice if you can read this. I did shoot twice. I'm shooting twice. He said do not move another step. How would you have me shoot, man? Oh, reload. There we go. Oh, I shot twice. He said don't move another step. I'm on one move step, man. I'm shooting, man. Good thing there's a reload. Okay, you can read this. Yes, I can. <laughs> Keep going. So let me explain. Go ahead. Oh, I like this. This is awesome. Good job, shit, man. Let's see, uh, if you deliver that last flag, the server will shut down. Okay. I absolutely cannot let that happen, I understand. I've been working on this project for more than 11 years. I can't let you jeopardize all of my work. I won't. Relax. This may look like a simple FPS game to you. It doesn't. It's actually really cool. But this game has power to raise the dead. Oh. At least that's what it is supposed to do. So if I deliver three times, that guy's coming. I'll still, it's still work in progress, as you can probably tell. Yeah, I can. I'm making this so I can see my wife again. Okay, but she seems to be stuck in some sort of limbo. I get it. Was that your wife? You probably already met her. Oh, that's your wife? Come on, man. That's the ugly shit you, you're trying to... She might come over a bit aggressive, but she's just scared and confused. I've been able to keep her relatively calm by playing her favorite music. Okay, I, I remember it. If you deliver that last flag, her soul will be set free. But I know I can save her and bring her back. Please, please escape and shut the game. Press escape and shut down the game. Please. Sorry, Jadu, suck it, buddy! Release the wife! Go back! No! from the server connection to host lost 
Ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it again and then go back and see what happens if I actually go back. Let's press escape. That's the only thing I can do. That's it. It's the end. Let's play it again and see what happens if I actually go back, if I listen to him. Maybe my computer is registered. It's gonna be like, your wife killer! VHS. This is such a cool little project. I, first, I want to congratulate whoever made this. I'm gonna talk about this later, but wow. That's talking about, talking about creativity. I like it. MS Boss. This is awesome. Wow, okay, so he's for real. He's like, yeah, game's over, buddy. You shut down the servers. Now it's up to me to figure out how to go back. Time to hack this bitch. Wide open. Let's see what happens if I rename it. No, put online. Here we go. Maybe there's it's in cache, in cache memory, something saved. I don't know, let's see, how do I do, how do I? How do I release the game back? I'm guessing the file itself might contain the information. Yeah, all right, it's nothing there. And I am re-downloading it. Re-downloading, just downloading it again. It is, you asshole. Oh, all right, I'll just see which one was created today. Could be this one, TMP file. Could be one of these. It was created when I downloaded the game. Let's find out. All right. One more try, Jose. I'm hoping that was the particular file that determines. Ah, <laughs> oh, you. Uh, unlock. Maybe it's like connected online. Would that be stupid? All right. I disconnected my internet. Let's try again. It crashed again. Maybe it's because it doesn't have a connection to the internet that it's crashed. Again, this keeps crashing now. Maybe it's maybe it's logged to my IP address. So if I change it, unlocks, I don't know. All right, you wanna fight game, let's fight. I'll be right back as soon as I clear the cache and everything. Cache, cache. You know, I thought about it. It could also be logged into my registry. I don't know. I uh, clear the cache. Let's see. It could be logged into registry. It could be just that. You know, the simpler thing would have been just to not do it and then do it. Huh. Yeah. Fuck face. Probably logged into registry. I am looking for... No players online. Find that shit. No players online. Look, everything's zero. Wow, how about I just remove it? If I remove it, the game should look at it like, oh, this computer never had this game on the system. Let me just make the regular file. So right now, if it opens up, it should have servers. How did you... There's a file that Windows creates every time it... That it works with once it's running, it's called, I don't know, some pad, patch, file, I don't fucking know, something. A user file, or it could be temporary, some sort of temporary file that it could be actually storing its information in. I'm not sure how exactly if that's even possible, but. Yeah, alright, this guy, this guy good, did a good job. Ah, uh, uh, it's really hard to figure out what's going on, so I'm actually going to just log into this another. Uh, I'm gonna create another user on my computer. I'm, I'm actually thinking it might be tied to that thing. So I'm just gonna create new user thing. Be right back. Aha, I did it. So yeah, it basically, I was right. It is tied to the user account on your computer. So I just did is I created a test one and simply now it works. But I also found there's another way. So let's go back to my original account and see what's the other way. So supposedly there is a certain code that you can enter called the... Uh, Konami code and you simply go to wiki and this is supposedly the code right here You can see these up up down down left right left right B a up up down There we go heard a sound ta -ta, and we're back So I'm just gonna go with official server number one again. Welcome to uh, answer the internet All right, let's find out what happens if you do not 
do what he, you know, if you just comply with him. Wait, never mind, I'll think about it. Just shoot twice if you can read this. Please, press escape and shut down the game. Please. Let's not shut down the game. Let's stay in the game. Let's see what happens if I maybe go back, put the flag back, or is she gonna react? Can I put the flag back? Mister. Of course not. Can't go through there. What if I... Can I break this? Oh, it made sound. It makes a sound. Let's just press escape. That's it. He just wants me to get out of the game, huh? Sometimes I have three bullets, sometimes four. What happens if I... Let's find out what happens if I fall. Oh, I cannot fall in the water. <laughs> what an inconsistent gun. Did you find just five? Three now? What am I having a gun for if I can't even shoot the shit? There's just one more thing I would like to try. Once I start to bring the flag back, can I go back whilst, while it's getting white stuff thingy? So I shot it and it's like, Ooh. well, let's just go back, deliver this baby and see what happens. Why are you here again? Please, just leave us alone. Oh, different. You're doing this spectator. Yeah, look, as I've... <laughs> it does turn white, huh? Go back. Do not deliver that flag. Thank you. So, where was I? Go back. Please don't. Thank you. So where was I? Go back. <laughs> Let's check if we go back. Go back. Stop it. Stop what you're doing. Do not deliver that flag. Thank you. Where was I? Go back. Let's go back. No, no, no. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you. So where was I? <laughs> Oh, man. I guess he wasn't thinking about these types of scenarios, huh? Let's just not go back now. Go back. Please don't. Please don't. Stop it. Go back to the center of the map. Do not deliver that flag. Go back to the center of the map. Where? What's the center of the map? Center of the map would be like this one. Or the music. Oh. What's the center of the map here, buddy? Yeah. So, really, really cool little creepy game. I liked it. I just wish there was... I was just looking for a little bit extra. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm missing something. I was hoping there would be something like, oh, go back to the center of the map. Maybe there, there, that actually exists, but I just didn't go back to the center of the map. I don't think so, but... I, w I would like to see if there was, you know, some story behind it, well, which I will research and I will get back. If there is more of this video after, obviously I found something and I will let you know, but this is it for now. Anyways. So, actually, there is something. I, I, I can't believe I let this slip in front of me that easy. So, it's actually a very simple concept of the game. It's supposed to give you the feeling of how old games, but mostly old servers, feel like when you, you know, old empty servers feel like if you go on them. That's why it's captured the flag. Uh, you know, once you finish the game, it shuts down, I guess. So, wow, I can't believe that escaped me. Come on, how did that... First, you have these three quotes. Uh, no player online sees me booting up old games, looking for that sweet nostalgia kick, and suggests that maybe I let dead things stay bur buried. It's not that so much as it is. It's a sense 
In a sense, it's a playable essay about feelings that abandoned game servers and projects can still prompt in us. There's something inherently spooky about wandering about alone in a long-forgotten virtual game world. So that's what this is about, I think. Nothing fills my night terrors more than an empty void of old consoles, which this game captures flawlessly. The design is perfectly executed, as Adam always seems to manage in his games. Credit to him where credit is due, of course. It gave me goosebumps the entire way throughout, and despite that, I'm gonna put myself through the game again to find the added secret. <laughs> Your game is... I love this. Your game is broken. If you bring all three flags to the goal, the game will end, and if it open back up, the servers are gone. Even if I redown the game, the servers are gone. <laughs> That's the point. A Linux build for all you penguin folks. A way to reset your save if you want to see other endings. Other endings? He says he added a secret. Bonus endings? Are you joking me? Supposedly there's a secret. Let's try this one. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I have a cheat engine out running over here. It's gonna help me speed this game up. Oh, it worked. Look at that. We're so fast. Let's go like times. Kaioken? Times four or five, whatever I pressed. Oh yeah, look at that. Pshh. There's your secret, buddy. Would there be a secret if I run like five times around this? Aww. So I decided to destroy that thing because that keeps her calm, I guess. So let's not keep her calm oh he's coming at me and disappears and now he goes no oh there we go behind you <laughs> can you blame her you destroyed the record player with the framing music i used that music to take from if you deliver that she's aggressive because you destroyed her player i don't think he said that last time yeah i fucked up the player there's gonna be trouble so let's just go and see what happens can i just go around Go to the center of the map. Where would you think is the center of the map? What different endings, buddy? What secret are we talking about? I mean, I can see the damn gun changing color. Why is he saying go back to the center of the map? He doesn't thank me this time. Let's try to go to the other server or something. Behind you, is this the same shit happening again? Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Why are you here again? Please just leave us alone. Uh, John Dev has joined as spectator. Yeah, I'll grant kick from the server. I don't know, I can't figure out for the love of God, what the hell. So I'm just making this additional video to share what I think about the game. Uh, first of all, the message is pretty, it's pretty simple concept of the game. I wasn't able to find any super secrets, like, oh, heck, I don't know, I just expected some bigger secrets, but the only secret is his uh, dialogue with you changes. She doesn't get any more aggressive, nothing else changes except if you destroy a player, he doesn't thank you for backing away and not putting the flag down. Uh, if you close the server and you open it back up again, he says, oh, it's you again, Why? Are, please leave us alone, why are you disturbing us, something like that. That's the only only noticeable difference is that I could see. Even though the this John Dev or whatever, even though he tells you go back to the center of the map, there's nothing there that uh, beyond that. Uh, maybe it's simply because there isn't anything. The whole gist of the game, the concept is to to make you feel how others felt when they joined an empty server and when they roamed through the empty map with no other players on the map on the server. Just, that's what it's supposed to be about. That's why it's called No Players Online. It's simply supposed to capture that atmosphere. And in my honest opinion, just like others have said, I think it did that perfectly. There's nothing else. It does leave me with, um, I guess, little uh, hope and imagination. Like, what could have happened? Ex something extra? Like, I want something extra out of it? Like, what could have happened if I went to the middle of the map? Center of the map? Would something happen? Could something have happened? Uh, it's just not there, but that's that's still fine. It, that's not the whole point of the game. It's just supposed to give you the feeling of how it is if you uh, open up an empty server, um, somebody's abandoned project that's still online. 
and you just get there. It happened to me dozens of times uh, when I tried to join a Counter Strike server and it's empty. It's just, it's 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 really really a little bit scary and also empty feeling, just like the server is. So you know you're just like, oh man, we used to play this. Now there's nobody there, and that's how it is. Simply, and I I like that somebody made a game about this particular uh, subject, if you will, uh, of empty servers, abandoned projects, and whatnot. Uh, something that used to be maybe popular, but it, nobody even plays it anymore. I really like this. I I think the game did what it, if this was the if I don't know. I'm not. I don't know for sure. I can only like really say my thoughts but if it was the goal i think it was achieved perfectly and the game is spot on uh because uh, you, you see that you know it's like a vhs tape and then it's like from what 86 or 89 and then it's uh the the graphics are in a certain way from like for example playstation 1 kind of graphics with vhs effect and i just think the game was really great everything was spot on the only thing again, I, I don't know, maybe a little extra. He did add a secret, but I'm not sure if if there is any secret like to be really like secret secret. You know, it's more like oh, dialogue is different. That's it. I don't know. Is there anything else? I I destroyed a player, but she doesn't get violent. She doesn't get you know crazy, aggressive, nothing. So I don't know. But anyways, that's the just a little bit of uh, about the game. And again, I don't have anything special to say about the game. Uh, other than I, what I just said, nothing else to say. Uh, honestly, spot on, perfect. I love it. Uh, I do recommend for everybody to just try it out a little bit, just to get that feeling of emptiness. And I think it's perfect uh, time of the year to share that feeling with everybody, because it's November right now, and it's a little spooky out there, isn't it? Yeah, we we have uh, where I live. There are fogs every now and then, um, so. You know, especially at night, if it's foggy, you can get a little bit scared because I played also Silent Hill. So, just that whole atmosphere, uh, I think, really, if you, if you this guy captured that as well. So, just the whole atmosphere of everything of this particular time of the year is really cool. And yeah, that's why I'm gonna go watch some Halloween movies and whatnot. Like for for example, those three witch sisters and whatever. Anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully, you, I I would like even though you watched my video. Please try the game out. It's really awesome. And that's going to be it. Uh, pretty, I mean, I should probably try to make these videos shorter. I don't know. I just say my piece and all that stuff. I don't know. Anyways, thanks. I will see you in the next in the game video. Pretty out.